Hey guys, today I got a video for you all, quite obviously. Now, this is going to be about which players you should choose to for the playoff underdogs promo. Now, I'm gonna put it up on screen right now as gameplay is going on in the back of the three players that there are. So, there's Kyrie, Jimmy Butler, and a Nikola Jokic. Now, they all write that there are 103 overall players, but here's the next thing is that they must, their teams in real life must beat their current playoff matchup to become 103 overall. So, now this this really makes it so that you need to have the right idea on who you think is going to beat their matchup. Now, right off the rip, I'm gonna say this video is full of my opinion, strictly just my opinion, and if you disagree, that's your opinion. There's nothing wrong with it, right? So don't get mad at me, although someone already did. For no reason, I don't know. But again, this is my opinion. So yeah, let's get into it. So first off, I'm gonna start with Jimmy Butler because personally I think that the Sixers have the least chance of beating the Raptors compared to Nuggets beating the Portland Trailblazers and the Celtics beating the the Bucks. Now why I say this first we as of recording this video, the Sixers have taken game 2, taking home court advantage. The thing is, the the bench of the Raptors played terribly. <laughs> they played terribly. Is this going to happen throughout the 7 games? No. No. Just like another example later, this is not going to happen throughout the 7 games. Kawhi Leonard is going to be playing great, he's going to lock up the Simmons, he's going to lock up Jimmy Butler. I assume and Spicy P is gonna do his thing, Lowry is gonna do his thing, Marcus Gasol is not gonna only score 3-5 points, same goes to the entire Raptors bench and they play great defense adding on the Sixers, well Joel Embiid is playing with basically half a, basically just one leg, he's not the, he's, he's still great, the problem is that he's not great great catch my drift and adding on that James Ennis and Greg Monroe gave them 21 off the bench points and that is what really propelled them through the win today if not they would have lost and considering how rap the Raptors guarded played their D I believe that this should be a serious finish right now so don't pick Jimmy Butler because he's gonna stay 100 overall. Next, we have the Celtics and the Bucks. And for Kyrie, do you really wanna pick Kyrie? No. I love Kyrie. And that's pretty much it, right? Now, the main the main reason why you shouldn't pick Kyrie is because that well the Bucks were not shooting well from 3 at all. Giannis did not have a good game. But the rest of the team broke low as George Hill, Middleton played fine, uh, Pat Connaughton. Those guys are not going to be missing to such open trees throughout the series. They have Mike Budenholzer as their coach and that means that they should be fine. They're going to make they're going to make adjustment adjustments. Yes, the Celtics would too, but based on personnel alone, yes, the Celtics have more talent, but the Bucks just have the better structure of a team. Giannis is not going to go seven for twenty two or something like that. Again, Bro Lopez is not going to miss three four trees, and the rest is they're going to be playing better. The defense is going to be playing better. I, am I really going to be betting on the Celtics with, who has all those chemistry problems throughout the regular season? Yeah, I'm betting against that. 
but it's still a pretty good thing, pretty good chance that they would win in like seven games. Just because, just because Bryce Stevens is such a great coach, he can make the adjust adjustments. And if we get the game one Celtics for the rest of the series, it's a GG. There's no way. It's not no way, but the there's a good chance the Bucks will lose. If we get the game one Celtics throughout the series, great offense, great defense, and with the Bucks missing all their shots, so that's the argument for Kyrie. Now, the last one is Nikola Jokic. If the Nuggets do make it to the conference finals, this would make it so that this Nikola Jokic card would be the best center in the game. Now, here's the problem to that. Actually, no. There's no problem to that. This is the series where you can safely say the quote-unquote underdogs, although they are the higher seed, will win. Because first and foremost, the Blazers don't have any other weapons aside from Dame. Yes, there is CJ, but CJ has not been playing the best. He's not last year or the year the CJ from the year before, and mainly because of that injury, right? The injury he suffered at the end of the the regular season. So this is really just Dame's team. If Dame has an off night, which he hasn't, as except that one game in Game Four against the Thunder, the the Blazers are going to lose. Right, and the thing is, Dame is putting up some crazy stats by taking some crazy shots. It's crazy, about thirty feet shots. Well, I'm not too sure. I don't use feet. I use meters and centimeters. I'm not too sure, but he's taking really long trees. Are we going to bet on Lillard making all those super long trees throughout the series? Not too sure. Adding on, as of recording this video, Dame scored 39 in the loss against the Nuggets. So right now, the Nuggets are up 1-0. And now, here's the next point to that. Gary Harris, he's a decent defender. He can definitely slow down Dame. Yes, 39 points is not exactly slowing down, but I believe as long as he makes him work for that 39 points, it will work. And the point that will make us the, the the main point here that it's really that will make that will convince you that the Nuggets will win really is Jokic simple Jokic two words Nikola Jokic you you are entrusting NS Kanner a terrible defensive center to guard Jokic the best offensive center I don't care who you're talking to Jokic is the best offensive center now we'll get to the defensive side later but right now he's the best offensive center he can knock down the tree yes it's been it has been worse in the playoffs I believe but he still can knock it down causing Kanter to need to come up and then Jokic can definitely find the open pass for Jamal Murray Gary Harris for the cutter definitely now with the offensive side done with, we have the defensive side. Now here's the here's the real kicker. Jokic is a terrible defensive player against a lot of cutting and helping. But if you're just going up against if his assignment is just NS Kanner, how does Kanner really get his points? It's a lot of his points is off offensive rebounds. Jokic is a pretty good offensive rebound, a uh, defensive rebounder. I'm sorry, he's a very good defensive rebounder. He can prevent Enes Kanter from getting all those offensive rebounds, and thus Kanter can really score from that. And yeah, so that's why the first hundred of all you should pick is Nikola Jokic, followed by Kyrie, and then followed by. Jimmy Butler of course this is all my opinion right it could definitely just go lopsided and the Sixers could suddenly just bamboozle all of us by beating the Raptors in 5 
because as of right, as of right now they are one one. The Celtics could definitely bamboozle us by defeating the best team in the East in five or six, and also the Yok the Jokic led Nuggets could also lose, right? And while I'm here, I'm just gonna say, game one was rigged against the Rockets. Come on now, game one was rigged. Rockets should have won that game. But again, that will be the end of the video. Well, yeah. Well, these are all my opinions, and don't take it 100% seriously because at the end of the day, I could be 100% right, or I could be totally biased.